As the foundation is a software for the structural design of several types of footings per the latest ACI 318 provisions, on the other hand, ETAPS is one of the most widely used structural software for the analysis and design of buildings. But what about if ASDIP and uh, ETAPS could work together? This is Javier Encinas, and we are proud to announce the first of many integrations between ASDIP and ETAPS, starting with the design of spread footings in ASDIP Foundation. Let's get started. As an example, consider this 3x3 three three bay four-story building modeled and analyzed in ETAPS with a total of 16 columns as shown here. The building has dead, light, wind, seismic loads. The wind loads have 12 steps and the seismic loads have six steps. A typical building like this is exposed to a number of load cases. Particularly wind and seismic loads are complex due to the multiple parameters involved in the generation of these loads. If a typical footing is under the action of vertical loads and biaxial shears and moments, then the number of reactions to consider in the design would be probably more than 100 per, per footing. If we multiply by the number of columns in a building, we may be uh, talking about several thousands of uh, reactions to be considered in the design. Evidently, entering by hand the footing reactions in a design software as ASDIP would be very time consuming and impractical. Fortunately, as the foundation is now able to import the column-based reaction directly from the ETAPS model so that the footings can be designed, optimized, checked completely using the spread footing module in ASDIP Foundation. To import the column-based reactions from ETAPS, open ASDIP Foundation and in the project manager, go to project, then import from ETAPS. Select the model that you want to open. This will open the project in ETAPS and will run the analysis automatically to collect the information. Then ETAPS will close. Going back to the project manager, in ASDIP Foundation, 16 nodes have been added to the tree under the spread footing branch. Each node represents one footing in the building, meaning that all the column-based reactions in this building were imported into ASDIP. Click on any of the nodes, for example, the node C1, this will open this particular footing in ASDIP Foundation. Here we can see some default values in the geometry, but the most important to check today is the loads. If we go to the loads tab, here we can see that all these loads were imported from ETAPS. Go to the live uh, tab. If we click on the wind tab, this combo box is particularly important. It shows the 12 steps as a maximum that can be modeled as part of the import. For example, we click on step number two. We can see that the loads change accordingly. Step number five, and so on. So it changes accordingly. That means that all the loads were correctly imported. If we click on seismic, the same. Here at the top, we, we have a checkbox indicating the steps, maximum of six steps. For example, step number three, also it changes dynamically the loads. So all these loads were imported. With these loads already there, we can design and optimize the dimensions of the footing. It's important to note that as the foundation identifies the controlling load combinations. For example, here in a soil bearing, this is a controlling load combination. So it's seismic for one way shear. The controlling load combination is 1.2 dead plus 1.6 life or punching this load combination, including seismic. For bending, this is the controlling load combination, and so on. This is the interaction diagram of the column, and this is the construction uh, sketch of the design uh, footing. In total, 110 reactions per column, times 16 columns, equal 1,760 reactions were imported in this example. Once the reactions are imported, you can optimize the footing dimensions and uh, reinforcement accordingly. In the near future, the software will include a design manager so that the footings can be designed preliminarily as the loads are being imported. This feature is still under development, but it will be announced shortly.
As you can see with this new feature, you can import column-based reactions very quickly in a matter of seconds that otherwise would take probably hours to enter these loads manually into the software. If you like the software, you can download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.